What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with our final Bionicle 2016 Summer Wave review, and this time it is on Umarak the Destroyer. Ages 8 to 14, item number 71316, and it has 191 pieces. On the back, it shows off just a quick comic, and as long as the combiner with all four of the beasts. Now let's open this setup. Alright, and here is Umarak all built up. And obviously, he's pretty big and there's a lot to talk about. Now first of all, I'm just going to go over his general color scheme. It is black with a trans yellow or lime green or neon orange-ish, whatever. I don't care what color it is. You guys can debate in the comment section. But obviously, yeah, there's a lot going on. And he's a really massive set. So without further delay, let's just get right into some certain sections of him. Alright, so taking a look at Umarak's legs, there's obviously some interesting stuff happening. First of all, some people are going to either like this or dislike this. I personally dislike this, but the lower part of the legs is Technic built. And the reason why I personally dislike this is because of this gray just randomly there, and there's gaps in here. Now, they do do a good job of trying to block it off with this new recolor. It's just, you know, trans, orange, purple color thing. They, and yeah, they, they do a decent job at hiding it. But, I don't know. These legs, I'm not really feeling them. This is, uh, you know, interesting. And I know some people like how LEGO is putting in the effort, but personally, I'm not feeling that lower part. Now, one of the other things they did is they they added these just you know extra detailing and on the back they have the other smaller feet you know just to kind of get this in here and i guess you know for extra support uh, there's actually you know you know this they added this piece in for some odd reason it has nothing to do at all with the uh legs but they added it there and then of course we have the the upper you know legs Ah, uh, there's there these are so simple and there isn't too much to talk about with those But yeah, that's pretty much it for the legs All right, so I'm just taking a quick look at the front of his body Obviously, you know, you have that neon yellow uh, Rib cage piece along with this kind of bulkier uh, Chest plate and black there is stickers which some people may hate others may not care for and of course we have these chains, which were on the original Umarak the Hunter. So some people may not like that, but it's there just to kind of resemble with the old figure. And just taking a quick look at the back of the torso, obviously we have the, you know, gimmick, just the swivel function. This is in like every set for 2016. And Gunmetal rib cage piece, which if you did not get the uh, General Grievous set from the uh, construction Star Wars line, that might be new to you. Uh, they also have uh, the you know shadow trap piece. Just again, you know, it relates back to the um, Umarak, the Hunter. He also had this, and then there is some extra details like the just uh, four sized. Uh, black armor pieces just adding in some extra details but yeah that's pretty much it for his torso all right and here is just a quick look at the top of the neck now obviously you can see there is some armor pieces here just to kind of like give you know a, a good look from the side but you can also see there's gaps and these gaps just go through the entire body it's actually very bad to just see from this top view and I know people just hate gaps. All right, so just taking a look at the side, you can see there's a lot of gaps. Just just take a look at this. The torso area has just huge gaps. That's really obvious. And then onto the side, you can see with the neck, huge gap. And I know that some people aren't even, they just hate the gaps. You, you can even see there's an open ball joints in here it's very very bad 
they they do kind of hide it out, but you can clearly see it's it's there. And some people hate that. Also, just taking a quick look at the side of the uh, neck, you can see they do kind of do a decent job at covering it up. And yeah, that's all right. Now we're just gonna take a quick look at Umarax functions. Obviously, there is the swivel function. Showed this off just a little earlier in the uh, review. There is the hand, you know, kind of claw thing. You could use the gears for this. Um, I don't find them really great just because of this rib cage piece being in the way. I just prefer to use the claws. And of course, everyone's favorite uh, mask function thing. So basically all you do is you take that, you see that like red thing sticking out, you just uh, you press on it. And boom, it goes flying. Yeah, great function. And obviously, you know, you got that new headpiece, and you could also use the uh, horns to knock off the mask. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Umarak the Destroyer. He is overall a pretty solid set. Now, there are definitely some cons with him. Of course, I mentioned the gaps. People are just gonna hate the gaps. Other people may say that they don't like the trans neon yellow, but uh, people aren't gonna like that color just because it isn't that trans green color that we had on Umarak the Hunter. And some people may say, you know, the gold on the, the horns are just standing out, but uh, those are just some nitpicks. Playing wise, this set, you know, it has its functions, but one of the big things that it, it struggles with is you can't do much with the functions. And this set doesn't come with anything extra. It's just Umrak the Hunter. So those functions really are pointless. It's, you need another set to really get your worth out of functions. I mean, as, as much as you know you could swivel Umrak around and move the claws uh, up and down, a kid's gonna get bored unless if they have another set. And that's something that all of these uh, summer sets have really been struggling with. You, you need another set, and that's actually one of the big things with CCBS overall. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Umarak the Hunter. Overall, this set does have some great value. He's obviously a pretty massive set, and for $25, you are getting a lot. Of course, you know, it has its cons. And those can easily be fixed, especially if you have a, another set. And of course, the gaps are really just nitpicks, and kids aren't going to care about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.